Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see what is services in Android. So we will going to create a simple a demo application, how to implement services in Android, what is the use of services, what is the benefit of services. So before starting this video, first of all, I want to give a quick intro of what is services in Android. The best example of services is music player. If you play a song and if you come back and if you are scrolling Instagram and listening music, while scrolling Instagram so how it is happening because due to the services music player implement services so you are able to use that applications components without using the application so the main task of the service is to use the process in a background so there are lots of type of services like foreground services background services so you can go on official documentation and every every service has a different use but we are going to use here background services how to implement that so first of all, I want to show a demo what we are going to make. So for this, I have to show a demo. Open my phone. So I open this application. So you can see now this is the just an example services in Android and it contains two buttons start service and stop service. So now if I click on start service, you can see it is playing the ringtone of my phone. So I add this music, but you can add as anything. It is your choice. Now if I come back, so you can see that this is still playing in background so this is the example of start background services clear the app from recent it will going to kill this that application again i open this application services so if i click on start service you can see it is playing and if i click on stop it is stop so always remember if you are implementing a service then you need to stop it otherwise it will going to create a lots of battery consumption memory consumption and lots of other thing as well so it is not better if you are start the service and forget to stop it so make sure you always stop the service after your work is done so now in this video we are going to see how to implement create this kind of application so don't forget to delay now let's start the video and if you don't like the video till now then please like the video and if you don't subscribe the channel till now then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification so now let's start the video so i open my nano studio and just go to file the new the new project click on empty activity click on next and I am going to use Kotlin, but you can use any language it is your choice. Services in Kotlin example and click on finish. Now let's quickly create a UI for this. So first of all, our project is building. So let's create a Gradle build and then we will start writing the code. So delete this text too. We don't need this. And instead of this, we need here relative layout. And instead of relative layout, we can go with linear layout and set the gravity of this center and orientation is vertical now what i have i have three things a text view and two buttons both service so let me create this first so text view match parent wrap content text services example text alignment center text size 40 sp and text style bold and text color black you can use whatever you want now i need a buttons so take an open back type a button match pair and trap content i will bt start this will going to start the service and then i need to set any text so text start service and then i just give a padding here padding 10 dp then text size so text size is 30 sp it is fine and then we have a margin so i give the margin 20 dp it is fine and now close this now i need one more button so i already have a linear layout with the vertical direction so it will automatically going to place this and this is pt stop and instead of start i need here stop button and now here i can give the margin bottom 50 dp it is fine so you can see now this is created successfully ui is created successfully now let's come into inside our main activity.kt where we are going to create the service so first of all let's assign the xml id to java id so private lady network and we have a two button vt start and the type of this is button and then we have a private lady network vt stop and this is also a button so assign the xml id to java id so vt start equal find view id r dot id dot vt start and bd stop equal find view id r dot id dot bd stop now if someone click on start button we need to start the service if someone click on stop button we need to stop the service so bd start dot set on click listener 
and uh, one more thing bt stop dot set on click listener the system now this is just a basic code now we need to create a service in android so first of all we need to create a service class which will going to perform the task in background so for this right click on your packet name then click on new then you click on kotlin class file and then you need to give any class name so i just give here class name new service you can give whatever you want now this class should extend service this one android app now it contains some methods so first of all you change it to constructor invocation and then it will going to implement some methods so implement members so this is the member on bind so what is this on bind method and why we need to use this on bind method so let us suppose you are developing an application where you are playing a music in background but on simultaneously you want to show a intent or we can say notification type terms type something so user can play the next song user can increment the song pause the song just from the notification slider so on that time you need to use on bind because on on that time you want to update the ui as well simultaneously but we are not going to do this we are just going to play the music in background so we don't need this method so but it is mandatory to implement this method so instead of this you need to return null here if you don't want to use this now service contains some methods like on start and on stop which will are a mandatory method so on start this one is a first method important method and then on stop this both method are implement on destroy sorry so these two methods are required to start the service and to stop the service so first of all let's declare a variable for our player type because if we want to play the song we need to use media player so just type here private later in var and then just give any variable name player and the type of the variable is media player because we are going to use this now inside on start method first of all we will we need to use this player equal media player we need to create a media player so media player dot create first of all pass the context this and second thing we need to pass our i am going to play my default ringtone but you can play any song it is your choice default ringtone you are right now for play this we need to type here player dot is looping pass true and then we need to start it that's it so it will going to start our service or play our service and here instead of this return you need to type here start sticky so let us suppose sometime by mistake your service is not created and by mistake your service is get destroyed so on that time you it will automatically going to recreate your service so always return it return start sticky and inside on destroy method what we need to do we need to stop our media player so player dot stop so this is done so this is just a service class which will going to perform a play a song or we can say play a ringtone but how it will going to interact with our ui so for this we will call we have to call these methods from our main activity so you can see we have two button bt start and bt stop so just type here start service and you can see it is an inbuilt method inside this you need to pass the context and your service class name new service service colon dot and i forget to mention the intent here so it will going to start this intent and for stop the service we will going to create this method again and stop service and we need to pass this again so this is finally done now there are two ways to mention the service whether a service is present in android there are two ways so for this first of all you can declare it on runtime and you need or you can declare it in manifest it is your choice so i am going to use the manifest method so open your manifest file and always make sure you mention your service below your activity so service and uh, your service class name is new service so that's why it will going to show this and now close this so this is done so finally guys our application is ready and now it's time to check our app and uh, so now we need to install this so i so you can see application installed successfully now click on the start service so you can see it is playing in background music start playing successfully if i come back you can see it is still playing and now come back and stop the service start the service if you clear that from reset it will going to clear, close this so you can also implement some methods let us suppose user clear that from reset and then that service is still going to work so there are there is a lots of to learn in about services android and it is a one of the main pillar of android so we will also going to learn in our channel how to do this so thank you for this video if you have any question just comment down below please like the video please subscribe the channel please share the video so thank you guys see you soon in next amazing video thank you